Hello, paper crafters. Kim Ferguson with Kim Ferguson Paper Crafting. I wouldn't normally pop on here with Allie, but we are celebrating Julie Scott today, who has been a longtime paper crafting friend of mine. We were makers together through Close to My Heart, and now we are demonstrators with Stampin' Up! And I actually signed up under her, so she is my upline. And she has a love for kitties, too. So there goes the token Allie tell across the screen. When we would do our Zoom meetings for our Makers with Heart video collaboration, Allie would continuously jump up here and be part of the videos, as would Julie's cats in her background as well. So she has Trevor and Lila. So Julie, I just want to say personally, congratulations on reaching 2,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel. Right now we're going to go in and look at some creativity that Julie has sent to me for inspiration. So I thank you, my friend, and I will cover more about you in my video. Take care. All right, we're back again. Now I'm going to be sharing with you some projects that I have that were sent to me by Craft with Julie, Julie Scott, who we're celebrating today. She is my upline, as I said earlier, and for every month that you as a customer will purchase $50 or more, she'll send you this packet for free. As her downline, she has blessed me with several of the kits since we both uh, joined in May of 2024. So unfortunately, just some family situations going on. I lost my mom in June and we had taken care of her for like a year and a half. So I haven't been able to really be at my craft table. That's why you haven't seen videos from me, but I'm back. And um, I thought, what a better way to celebrate Julie than to actually get on here and show you the kits that she has shared with me and also to show her in good faith that you have not wasted the supplies on me. I am creating. <laughs> and this was just a great way to celebrate her because as I'm working on these, I'm seeing her growth in becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and just being more and more comfortable with the products. It's a big transition to leave uh, Close to My Heart. I was with Close to My Heart for 11 years. So like Julie, it's hard to remember the names of the new colors and so on and so forth. So Julie, again, this day is to celebrate you and I appreciate your friendship. I was looking back through some statistics and uh, of course she's over 2000 now. And now she's trying to get those viewing hours right for the monetization. Um, starting back in 2021 is when I really started to build my friendship with Julie. Uh, and if you followed us at all as uh, makers for Close to My Heart, we were in the Makers with Heart with CTMH together. We were also in the, at the CTMH Twisted Sisters. And then... Uh, I looked back and I can kind of see where our messenger chat started back in like July of 2021. Common interests, cats. I have Allie. You saw her at the beginning of the video. And then she has Trevor and Lila. Trevor, of course, was her first cat and he was always getting into mischief while we were trying to do crafts. And on her videos, she would kind of laugh about him. And then uh, she is now my Stampin' Up! upline. I was with a different maker under Close to My Heart, but I have chose to make the transition to be under Julie. And as you know, the pyramid, it works on up. And Kelly Baxter is one of our, um, you know, up there and uplines. And so she's the one that helped put all this together. Another big thing to celebrate Julie is she participates in the Card Makers Success Summit. I recommend you look that up and figure out what that is because she is now being asked to come back for a second time. She, in the beginning of our friendship, was my techie advice, her and Amanda, if you remember Crafting with Amanda, who was also in Makers with Heart with us. And then one of the things I remember the most about Julie and her favorite technique is she loves to do doodles. So this first pack from May of 2024, I tried to do my best to mimic her doodling. <laughs> so I will show you that. And then a funny thing, funny story is uh, Julie blessed me and, and our team blessed me with a uh, a minky blanket. If you have not ever touched one of those, you need to check it out. It's it's a wonderful, heavy, full, you know, furry blanket. And that's what they blessed me with at the time I lost my mom. And so she did not know what color to get for me because 
if you watched any of our videos, I do not care for pink. So <laughs> anyway, so there was always challenges with the pink. So she'll, she'll get a kick out of that, that I remember this as a, you know, something that needs to be said, but purple is my favorite color. And then, um, like I said, I, I was watching her videos on how to make these. So I'm helping your viewing hours, Julie, I'm, I'm in here for you. So let's go in and see what I've done. Like I say, I haven't finished them. Uh, but I've got some Stampin' Up! products. I'm still using a little bit of my stamp or my Close to My Heart inks. But here is the first set. This would have been May of 2024. And you can just do exactly what I did to help Julie with her viewing hours. You reach the 2000, but you have to have a certain amount of viewing hours. Go back and watch the videos. You could recreate these with current products if you don't have the Unbounded. This was the Unbounded Beauty. So... I have the kit. So card one, she does this really organized. You get all the pieces. You have to supply the card base. And then you can see here where I put out the other supplies that I've used to make all the cards I'm doing. So adhesive, inks to do your stamping. Stampin' Up! We cannot send you a stamped image. So that's something to know that is new from being with Close to My Heart is we cannot stamp images and send them to you. So my stamps are gonna be different than what she used. But um, let's see, for the time to celebrate, I use the Round We Go. So these are, I've been collecting for a little bit here so I could be ready to get back and do videos. So there's card number one. Card number two here, we've got her doodles. How did I do, Julie? I am not as good. I kind of went off the edge up here. For whatever reason, I kind of go down there, but I kind of did it here too. But there are the doodles, and that is something that Julie really likes to do, and she especially likes to do the double doodles. Now, me, I'm the paper piecer of the bunch. So I love to paper piece, so it's fun to have that on there. And so this is just little rectangle she's done. And then I stamped my sentiment on here. So I'm pretty much doing exactly what she showed, maybe changing up a little bit. And then again, to stick with the doodles, here's the happy birthday card with a couple of star gems and some layers. So this is the May Craft with Julie project pack. Moving on to the June. This was the Simply Said stamp set that she used and then Enjoy the Ride. So this is some of the first Close to My Heart papers that Stampin' Up! brought over. So Julie used, used those for this packet here. So here's card number one, three-dimensional embossing folder that Stampin' Up! has. And then this is the, uh, what is it again? Pardon me, Enjoy the Ride bulk paper. So on the back side of these butterflies or dragonflies is this red plaid. And then I popped up the sentiment. I didn't have the polka dotted uh, ribbon that she has. I don't know what happened to that in the package. So I just added some blue from my Close to My Heart. This is the blue burlap ribbon. And I thought that was fine. And then she has some of the twine here that we just tied on there. So this is card number one of the June. Here's card number two, a thank you card and a Cricut cut, again, paper piecing. I love it. And then stamped a sentiment that is, let me look here. That is from the My Small Business. So this one is in the current catalog, I believe. The, um, yeah, this one is as well that I used. Okay, all right, so there's that. See, I haven't been using the products like she has, so I'm still learning. I feel like I'm back where they were in May. All right, another Cricut cut, woohoo! Love the daisies. And so what I did is before I put the, the brown down here, I stamped this how I wanted it, and then I laid the brown down to um, show the things straight. So paper piecing, I popped that up some gems that she included. And again, it's that back side of the dragonfly is the red plaid. So again, this was the June pack. Again, you can just, you know, try to sort out the sizes and recreate them with what papers you have on hand. All right, July. This shows you that I made my um, cells each month. So as, as team members, we have to reach a certain goal and then she sends these to them. Well, I'm my best customer, so. <laughs> That's how that went. <laughs> All right, card number one. Okay, I did not have the iconic imagery bundle, 
So I went with the Seaside Wishes. And if you've watched the um, videos that the other demonstrators are putting up, there's die cuts and then there's embossing folders. So this is the hybrid. So in this embossing folder, this piece here will go inside your embossing folder. Okay, it goes this way. And then you can, see I told you I have to learn how to do this. Let's go on this side. There we go, goes on this side, okay? And then you can put your paper in there, your cardstock, it will emboss it as well as cutting it out. If you just want it to emboss, then you don't put the die cut in there, you just put your paper in and this will emboss it. But I just love these hybrids. So that's, you know, a new product to us. And then the stamp set. So inside, this is kind of what everybody's been doing is finding the magnetic sheets. There's adhesive backed ones, or I just used double-sided score tape on the back of mine. And then I do leave my embossing folder in here. So this is, as I said, the Seaside Wishes. So I chose this because she was kind of making these with more of a masculine theme. So I have the starfish and I use the little rocks on there. And then your friendship is the best gift. So this was used with the pine ink and then uh, toffee ink. And so stamping in the background. So this card here was like, wow, Julie is really stepping up. So I was like, I felt challenged that I need to start stepping up rather than keeping so basic. So I stamped the background and honestly, Julie, when we were doing Makers with Heart, you were so good to really get me to understand how to have a pattern that isn't too symmetrical and it looks random enough. <laughs> so I hope I did you well on here. So anyway, so this was card number one. All right, card number two, again, I use the Seaside Wishes and this is the Seabrook ink along with pine. And I did go around in Ed's Distress. Now, when I was watching the video, the ones that were made on the video, there was no ink distressing, but I'm pretty sure the ones laying on the table were. So I was like, oh, she's just stepping these up now. So as I was moving along through those three card kits, this one was getting more and more in depth. And then we've got some gems on there. So. <laughs> and card number three. So card number three, again, I didn't have the stamp sets she was using, that iconic imagery. So I had some trees I have cut with, with uh, die cuts. And then again, I used that Your Friendship is the Best Gift from Seaside Wishes. And then I did go around with that toffee ink and edge distress everything. And then I added some gems. So that is where I've gotten to at this point because it is already eight o'clock at night and this video needs to be, you know, put together, put on YouTube and put out there for you to view tomorrow. I do still have four more packs. And so <clears throat> I believe tomorrow in celebration of Julie, I will continue to work on these. So again, look at the, the supplies I was able to have right here next to me to do all of those card packs already. And I could probably continue on and just use what I have here to finish up the last four. So please follow everybody in the hop today, go around, watch their links, subscribe to the channels, leave comments, but by all means, go over and celebrate with Julie and let everyone know about her channel and let's all celebrate her reaching 2000 subscribers and help her to get those viewing hours up. It's great to be back. You are missed. I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much for coming by and watching. Happy crafting.